what's up guys welcome to episode number 24 of our islanders gm mode so in last episode uh we were in round number two against columbus but unfortunately we lost in five games um so now we're up in year five off season uh starting off with the draft so at the draft i'm gonna be probably drafting a goalie if there's a goalie that goes in either the late first round or the early second round just because I think we need a future goalie because I don't know if Soderstrom is going to grow to be that future number one goalie like we want him to. So other than that, I also probably want to release Kemper at free agency in this episode. And then we might sign a new number one goalie and then use Soderstrom as our good backup. So then we have like maybe an 86 and an 84 goalie instead of an 84 and an 80 three or 82 whatever he is so anyways let's start off with the draft um so yeah if we could get a goalie first round that'd be nice if not then uh maybe he will get one later in the rounds that are actually pretty good we want one that has an, a starter potential maybe a um we don't want a fr fringe starter because fringe starters aren't really the best so anyways chicago has the first pick let's just look at the scouted players Going into the 2021 draft, I think it is, or the 2020 draft, one of the two. Um, so let's see if there's any goaltenders that go in this first round. Oh, there is one here, McMillan, first slash second round. So it's this guy, I would like to maybe draft him. Yeah, he's 18 too, so I think maybe that guy's perfect for us, Craig McMillan. Um, there's no other goalies that go in that, so... Um, we'll definitely, um, make sure we watch this guy. So let's pin him. Hopefully he doesn't go. Um, so yeah, and, and let's pin a few more players, I guess, while we're at it. Um, I don't know what we also need other than a goaltender. Maybe some wingers. Let's see. Power forward. W. Belak. Warren Belak. Uh, we'll just leave the rest for now, and then we'll pick as we go, or we have the computer auto-draft, maybe. Because I do definitely want that prospect goaltender, I think. Our pick is at number 22, so we should be able to get him, unless one of these other teams decide to. So, well, Let's sim the first five picks and see who goes in the first five. So Spezza goes first overall to the Chicago Blackhawks, a defenseman. Medium elite, too. Pretty good for them, because they don't have a lot of young defensemen i believe in their organization and another defenseman blood off goes to minnesota uh, another medium elite um so apparently um in the message center andrew ladd our former player has been traded to the buffalo sabers that's interesting um he was with the canucks too apparently did we trade him to the canucks e no i don't think so I don't even remember what tra uh, team we traded him to, but whatever. Um, so, Willsey goes third overall, only a high top nine forward. So, Washington just made a bad trade or bad pick because they should have went with that guy that just went fourth overall. Uh, Pratt, uh, medium elite as well. So, yeah, Washington losing out on this, but high top nine is pretty good. I guess it's like a low bottom six pretty much. So, And Philadelphia has the fifth pick, and they go with another medium elite left wing power forward so that's the top five for this year's draft so let's go to our user pick and see if we can get that mcmillan person he should be still available i'd assume he's probably gonna yep oh he is there but he's it's his medium fringe starter uh hopefully he's a starter i'm gonna pick him still just because i we need a goalie hopefully he's not a fringe starter that's his potential listed as, but it's probably going to be like a start of, start of some sort. Oh, medium elite. Yo, guys, we just got our future goaltender. That's cool. At 22nd overall pick, we get a medium elite goaltender. That's a very nice pick. Instead of a medium top six or any of those forwards, we get a nice future goalie. So that's going to be good for us down the road. So, yeah, definitely I think I'll release Kemper this year if McMillan's good enough to play in the AHL already. But then again, he's 18 and he just was from it playing in the WHL, so he might not get the play actually in the AHL yet. But um, 
I say we definitely release Kemper and pick up a number one goaltender uh, for like maybe a few years and then until McMillan is ready to play in the NHL. So, um, so that's that pick. Let's just see who goes after. So yeah, some more top six forwards. So I'd take a medium elite goaltender over uh, top six forward considering our team already is pretty decent. So, um, so yeah, let's just him to use their pick again I guess and we'll pick our second round pick and then have the computer draft the rest so so at round two pick 22 let's see what we could get so there's these guys that are still listed as second round players so we should probably pick them first uh Jay Boyer Joshua Boyer from Slovenia I think that flag is uh, he's a center playmaker. We have a decent amount of centers, though. Jacob Scatcher, defensive defenseman, high 7th D. And Kelly Miller, defensive defenseman. Uh, I'm going to go Scratcher. Scatcher. Medium top 6 defenseman, so that's a pretty good pick, actually. Um, maybe he can be a defensive pair with um, Saarinen down the road. Um, so yeah, we're going to auto-draft the rest of that, see if we get anybody good. So, the computer drafted us D. Redenbach, R. Staples, S. Schofield, J. Dirksen, Dirksen, J. Bowman, and J. Wisniewski. So, that's our draft picks for the 2021 NHL Entry Draft. Uh, let's send to the resign stage and then see what their overalls are. And then we'll sign some players and whatnot. I'll probably just, um, yeah, maybe no, I won't edit it out. I don't know. I'll edit out certain parts, like, simming up to the season, just because it might take a while, but. Because I'd like to get the off season done in this episode, and then the next episode would be to start, uh, year number five. And then the next one would be almost finishing up year five, so just crunching through these episodes pretty much so let's go to contracts list all contracts okay so unsigned first so Scatcher's actually a 75 rate out of the draft that's pretty good so I think this guy definitely could play in the AHL already um, Darby I think was a pick from last year yeah He's an offensive defenseman as well, so that's pretty nice too. But he's a 68 still, so I don't know if we want to sign him yet. A lot of defensive prospects and some good HL prospects. Welsh was, yeah, our first round pick last year. Um, he's not grown really that much, so I'm not going to sign him yet. I'll wait till next year. Um, let's just check our big guys from this year. Or our goalie, I should say. And McMillan, McMillan's a 65 out of the draft. So yeah, I'm not going to sign him this year. Hopefully he gets up to like a 70 something for next year. And then, yeah, that works. So that's pretty nice though still. Um, so that's our future number one goalie, guys. Um, let's go to UFAs and RFAs. So people we need to definitely sign. Ryan Pulak I'd definitely like to get back because he's still pretty young. So how much cap space do we have? We have 34 million, so we might have to release some players. I definitely suggest we're going to release those Zizekas and Bailey. And you might be like, why? They've been really good fourth line players. But the reason being is we have to, um, well, Velarde and Beauvillier, they're both ready to play in the NHL probably next season. So they'll be taking the roster spots of these two. So yeah, I'm definitely going to release these two, even though like if you look at Let's view Sizikas' stats. With us since 2016-17, he's put up 49, 33, 20, 17, and 32 points. All on the fourth line, which is very, very well done. So, definitely he's had a good time here. And Josh Bailey, he's also been a long-time Islander. He had 39 points in their first season, 34 in the second, 30 in the third, 19 in the uh, well, the, one of the most recent ones, and then the most recent one, 33 points with 17 goals, actually. So, it's going to be tough to release those guys, but we need our young guys to come up, and then we also save up some cap space, I guess. So, sorry, 
to John Tavares and all the people affected, we had to get rid of Sezikis and Bailey. So it only looked like John Tavares was sad about Sezikis and nobody was sad about Bailey. And also, I think we have to release Adam Pellick because, as you can see, he's disgruntled because of his ice time, but he's listed still as a high 7th defenseman, so I don't know why he's getting pissed off, but I'm going to release him ready. But I'm definitely going to re-sign Ryan Pulock to a, let's see if I can get him down to 5-9 for, yeah, 3 years is fine. Takes him to his 29. I would do a long-term deal, but I don't know. Um, David Savard, he wants 3 years. Hmm. I'll give you 2 years at 6 mil. Yeah, 6, I don't know, let's just go 6 0 2 5. Just because I don't know how old he'll play till, like if he's going to retire at the end of like next season or whatever so i don't want to overpay him uh ryan strome wait is there any rfas that need to be signed for sure walder spoon oh he doesn't actually want that much for a few years that's nice ryan strome definitely want to re-sign him yeah uh, three years three years hmm yeah three years would be good to 30 and let's talk him down though to 6.75 yeah it works, and Lindholm didn't have the best season, like, if we look at his stats again. Yeah, he had 33 points, which was, like, the same as, like, Sissikis and Bailey. I don't know if we want to re-sign him or we want to find a new uh, center, second-line center, because he's not, he hasn't turned out to be the best. But he only wants a two-year deal. We could give him a one-year deal at 5-5, five, five, probably, and then we could just see if we want to keep him or not uh maybe i'll just give him the two-year deal that way we can probably trade him at the trade deadline if need be so yeah let's just give him the what he wants but i might trade him at the deadline so uh march or so was lo losing morale because of ice time because of being a depth guy so we'll release him um s Olivo could play in the ahl for sure uh bembridge that's not very good overall i'm going to release you those guys were late draft picks anyways. Same with McKinnon. Um, okay, let's go to RFAs. So, Watherspoon. Yeah, we could definitely get... Is he even going to grow much? Uh, he might not grow that much, to be honest. But, let's see. Yeah, we'll give him... Let's give him uh, $100,000 less than he wants for three years. And, yeah, save a bit of money there. Anthony Beauvillier, is he going to want a one-way deal? Yes, he is. So he should be in the NHL this year. Will he grow a lot? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, he doesn't want... That's weird. So yeah, Anthony Beauvillier might actually not be that much of a player. Um, but uh, in real life, actually, he's a pretty good player. So uh, what about Julian Gauthier? He wants a one-way deal at 975. I could definitely take that. Andronov get you back for the AHL. Uh, same with Babenko. Because those guys were pretty solid, I think, down there. Um, let's see. Koivula. Was he actually even... Yeah, he probably was down there. We'll just get all these guys back. Cause, except for LeBlanc, I think. Our, yeah, we'll get LeBlanc back. We'll just get everybody in the AHL back. Okay, so that's almost all of them. I don't know if we have any goalies actually to sign. I should check that first. So Ronald Holt, what does he want? 825, get him back. UFA is C. Kemper. I think we should be releasing. Yeah, I'm probably going to release Kemper. So we'll sign Gibson, though, still for the HL. He wants a one-way deal, but he's not going to be playing in our NHL team. So it's only 950k. It's not that much. Uh, Kemper, though, thank you for your time here in New York. Um, you did play good enough, I guess, last season. Um, David Quinville. Yeah, we'll just get all these guys back for the AHL club. Okay, that's good. Um, do we want to sign any of our unsigned guys? I think we definitely signed Scatchard to play in the HL. Um, the rest of them don't look that good, though. Stutzel, 71, that's pretty decent, but... We already have our goalies down in the minors, so... Okay, I think that's good. Let's go... 
see if everybody resigned and then we'll go to free agency and see if there's anything as uh, interesting at the um at <laughs> at free agency uh like i said i wanted to find a number one goalie and then soderstrom would i be our backup instead so uh lindholm accepted so we could still trade him like i was saying uh david savard ryan strom ryan pulak scatcherd gibson verhege bunch of these minor league guys anybody reject that's the more important thing nope nobody rejected let's just make sure we don't have any contracts or outstanding contracts because i don't want to buy and release a player like i think i did with calvin dehan a few years ago so ufas oh scott mayfield yeah we could get him back i guess for the hl because he's like kind of like a a vet down there so because he's not oh he wants a one-way deal though yeah i don't think i'm doing that so i will release mayfield um because I don't feel like paying 975k though uh, to a guy who's not going to play on an NHL team. Like, he could have been depth actually, but whatever. So we have like $10 million in cap space. I'm thinking definitely we go after a goalie. If there is a goalie at the free agency, like a good number one goalie. If not, we could potentially trade for one. Um, but I don't know if anybody's willing to part with one. I was looking beforehand. And Anton Forsberg, I think it was in New Jersey. He could be uh, a free agent this year potentially. So uh, hopefully, because they have like two eighty, like they have really good goalies in New Jersey, and it would be nice to pick up uh, an eighty-five from them. So let's we'll see if he's in free agency, and if he is, then maybe we'll sign him. Let's just save so we don't lose that draft. So we're up here at July first on free agency. Let's see what's available around or well on free agency and then we'll see what's available maybe around the league as well so some good defensemen um yeah ben hutton's in 89 dougie hamilton well we don't really need any good defensemen like there's a lot of defensemen actually at this free agency it doesn't look like any good goalies which means we might have to trade for one let's see goaltenders yeah kemper's the best goalie available so yeah, we're probably going to have to trade for a goalie. Um, let's just see what we could sign. No, maybe we need to sign some depth guys, I guess, again. So is there anybody... Let's go all the way down, see if we can find some good depth. Depth forward, Scott Lawton. That's not bad, actually, considering he's an 82, but is he listed as a third-line scorer? No, he's listed as a depth forward, so... Um, let's sign Stenland and yeah, let's you just give them what they want. No picks required. Okay, I'll take that then. Uh, and then Scott Lawton as well as some depth. Pretty cheap guys too, just in case we get injuries. And then maybe we need a depth defenseman to replace Pellick because Pellick, um, yeah, we released him so. Prime one tour is actually listed as a depth defenseman 81. Uh, let's see who else. Paul Postma. Anybody else listed as a depth guy? Oh, there's another one. Steven Camphor. The Camphor is a bit older. But most of them, I think, are. Nesterov, 28. Not bad. Brandon Gormley. HL top two defenseman now. So, um, Kostelek actually is pretty young. He's 26. Let's just offer Kostelak a contract as well. One year at 1.1. Just get these guys for one year, hopefully, and see how they are. And then if we have some, we might have to unload some cap space. Like maybe we could trade Lindholm already and get a number one goalie for now. While McMillan is growing. So let's see if these guys signed with us. Hopefully they did. So Scott Lawton accepted. Um, Kostelak accepted in Stenland. I decided to accept your deal, but it's not done yet. So, oh yeah, I forgot. Since he was an RFA, another team gets still matches. So, I should have put, probably put it up a bit, but. And Stenland, yeah, that's the exact same thing you just said, buddy. Oh wow, the Columbus Blue Jackets decided not to match my offer. So. We have signed Kevin Stenland, so welcome aboard to him. 
so that we've got some good depth in our offense is up to a 95 defense 91 86 I don't know if those guys are going to drop off at all but okay so now I think we definitely need to trade for a goaltender so let's just see if we can get a goalie let's see if um let's go let's just go propose trade because I want to see if Forsberg's still available in New Jersey if he's still there because I think he only had one year left on his deal I don't know if that's including this year or not so goalies so yeah see they still have Forsberg like they have an 88 and an 87 so I don't know why they'd want to keep him or Mackenzie Blackwood even for that matter so let's try and see if we could trade for Forsberg uh, he's only got a one year deal like I was saying left but maybe we'll resign him next year again just until McMillan is ready like I was saying um, are they interested in Elias Lindholm? Yes, they are. Perfect. So, but they'd be over the maximum salary cap by a bit. By how much? Like $2 million almost. So let's see if we could take back some salary. So let's go to all skaters, I guess. Oh, sorry about sniffling so much. Have a bit of a cold. Okay, so... Let's see if there's anybody who is low trade value and has a decent contract. Wow, 2.67 for an 82, but it's Bolesky. I don't want to take on Bolesky. How much years? One year left, actually. That's not bad, but I don't want to use him as a depth and he gets pissed off or something. Um, anybody else? That Niedemeyer guy. 2.195 for one more year Jacobs but he's got too much trade value so I don't know if I could do a trade with New Jersey um unless I retain some salary on Lindholm which I could potentially retain a bit of salary we'd have to retain how much a percentage of this though let's retain see if we could retain 20% would that go through the you know still over salary cap I don't know if I could even, let's see, I'd have to go up probably to like 40, or, I'd have to go up to probably exactly 50%, oh maybe not exactly 50, I'd have to go to like 42%, or I guess more, maybe we'll just um, find a different team, yeah, let's just find a different team. Let's get rid of the salary just because I don't want to retain really salary on anybody. Especially because Lindholm is already kind of cheap. Like $5 million isn't that much really uh, for a second line center. But he's in only an 85 I guess. So uh, Nashville also is interested in him. Let's just see if they have a goalie they can move. Let's see. Goaltenders no they only have wow they have really bad goaltending over in there in Nashville uh, New York Rangers 284s that's not anybody outstanding 83 and 67 no thanks Philadelphia 287s oh Stollers or Masons looks like he's complaining about his ice time and he's got one year left but we'd have to probably give up a lot to get someone like Steve Mason for one year. Um, like we definitely give up Lindholm. Skaters matching block. Um, let's see. What else could we give them? I'm not giving up Stenlin because he's depth kind of guy. Um, hmm. We could always give up uh, Kobolisk. But that's not going to add that much trade value to it. And then maybe give them, them a pick of some sort. So that way they're getting a prospect. Um, we could give a third, I guess, away. Eh, I don't know if that's even enough. Um, might have to bump that up to a second. Let's just see if that goes through. Wosifly insufficient. Um, second pick. Yeah, that might work. But let's not give this year's second away. Let's see. Let's give away. Oh, wait, the heck. It's not even sorted properly. There you go. Now it's sorted properly. So. 
let's give them the 2025 20, second and see I think that could go through yeah let's try that nope huh okay maybe we'll find a different goaltender then I don't know if they want to just part with Steve Mason probably okay goaltenders not rookie skaters didn't mean to go there whatever so they don't really have anything other than flurry San Jose 88 and then a bunch of jack shit goaltenders St. Louis 86 and 85 and 82 see Evan Fitzpatrick might be a good one to pick up yeah let's see if we could get Evan Fitzpatrick because he could be good down the road um skaters matching block did I like Lindholm yes they do nice so we give up Lindholm maybe and they'd be over salary cap by just a bit actually so we could retain a bit of salary like how much do we have to retain um let's retain 15 percent if that goes through they believe below the salary cap or over the salary cap maximum salary cap still apparently let's just jack this up a bit more to 20 percent still 25 percent and 30% how are they still over? It doesn't say that they are. Let's just remove all that. And then let's try and take back some salary with um with them. And then we'll give them maybe a pick or something. So is there anybody that has a huge, well not a huge contract, but somebody with one year left with like $2 million. So years left. Schmaltz has a huge contract, but I'm not taking on that. He would be nice to have on the team, but he's got a lot of trade value as well. So, um, Berglund, one year left at 4.45. That's a huge contract, too. Um, Nico Hishir, or whatever his name is. Um, Radulov, just over a million dollars. Anybody with like a two million dollar? No. Um, I guess we could take on a two year deal if someone's. And Joel Edmondson, uh, I don't know. Glenn Godden. Let's just see if we could take one of these one million dollar contracts, or let's just sort by salary. I guess we could take on someone like, um, but Berglund, I don't really want to scratch these kind of guys though. So. Hmm. Let's see, Radulov, minor scoring for it. So, this guy's actually got good potential, though, and he's got low trade value. Um, well, we don't really need any centers, so I don't know if we could get Evan Fitzpatrick, but maybe I'll just see if I could retain a bunch of salary, like 50%. But does that still want... Why is it not going through like that? It's weird. Um... I went 50% it still wouldn't go through apparently so I guess Evan Fitzpatrick's out of the picture but let's see about their other goaltender because they had another goalie as well I think old Pilka I, like, I've picked him up before but he hasn't he doesn't turn out to be that good um, we could actually go after Jake Allen maybe for like if he's got a low contract Jake Allen 30 years of age 86 overall and 4 years left in, oh, that's not bad Let's see if I could get Jake Allen back, and I'll have to add in, like, a first from, let's add a first from, like, 2027, or they don't even want a pick from, they don't want picks, but I'll give them a 2027 first, hopefully by then we're doing good, and let's see if this goes through, it doesn't match the block, well, okay, I guess we can't get, uh, Jake Allen or anybody from St. Louis, probably. Because they're a bit picky with their picks and stuff. <laughs> um, 87 and 89. Mrazic. They want to get rid of Mrazic too. He's only got one year left. That's like the perfect goaltender. But we have to, again, throw in some other stuff into this deal. 
to get it to go through so let's throw it up first and because I know that probably won't go through they don't want Lindholm even so who do they want though they want like some of these other guys I'm not giving up my defenseman really um let's see mm. goalies matching block nobody rookie skaters goalies Hmm. Maybe I'll just sim up to the season first, guys, and then we'll see if there's anything that we could go after then. Um, but for now, I don't think I could really pick up any goalies. Like, I don't know if there's anybody that... Maybe I'll just edit my trading block first. Yeah, let's just edit my trading block. Put a few of those bigger guys on the trading block and put that I'm looking for a goalie. That way, we could probably get maybe some trade offers in and see if we need or if we could get any good trade offers for a good goalie uh good news about people like Rillinger and stuff like that is they have actually decent amount of trade values so they could be something special down the road uh we could always trade Melker Carlson so I'm going to definitely put Melker Carlson on the trading block as well and I'm going to definitely put Lindholm on there just so I could see if I could get some offers for those type of guys um Let's see who else. Eh, I don't know about anybody else. So yeah, we'll just uh, let's put the first round draft pick from this year just for interest, I guess. Um, yeah, that works. And then we want. Sorry if this episode's taking longer than normal. I'll probably just finish it up once I end this, edit this trading block. So let's just remove everything. So yeah, we wanted the starting goalie. So goalie, not necessarily elite. Let's go starting goalie. And let's put maximum age at 30 and minimum age at like 26. And then four stars to five stars. And medium to high and yeah that's all good so yeah let's just leave that and yeah we don't want anything else for those type of guys let's just say that and then let's just leave it at that so that's gonna be this episode guys of our islanders gym so hopefully we get some trade offers um in the next episode i will get it to the start of the next season and we'll start the season simulation um so yeah, thanks guys for watching. See you guys next time.